Hey guys, it's Miriam with lots of toys. Subscribe to our channel for lots of fun videos posted every day. Check out this fun Autobot. This is Transformers Generations. It's a Combiner Wars robot. And it's Scattershot. He does convert and he becomes a ship. Check it out. He also combines to form Betatron. He's actually the main body part of Betatron. He's an Autobot, so not a Decepticon. He's a secret weapon the Autobots call on when they need to quickly form and reform new combiner robots during battle. And check out the fun vehicle, the plane that he turns into. It's a fighter jet. And it looks like it has a giant gun. It takes 15 steps to convert him into that mode. And then back into robot mode. This looks like a super awesome toy. Can't wait to open it up and show it to you. What an awesome giant robot. Whoa, this is giant. There's also a fun card in the back. You get a collector's Transformers card with the set. And of course it shows Scattershot. And check him out, he looks super decked out. This is his robot form. And I can see the remnants of a plane here in the back and this giant missile launcher. He's definitely one of the bigger robots. Here he is in comparison to Optimus Prime. This one is from Robots in Disguise. However, check him out in comparison to Smokescreen over here. He's still much taller. Look how tiny this Robots in Disguise Minicon is in comparison to Scattershot. He's giant. The collection includes a cannon. Check out his fun weapon. It attaches to him. And this also doubles as the gun once he's in plane mode. And it is removable. It does attach to his hand. Let's go ahead and convert him into plane mode. That will take 15 steps. So first we have to move his head down. So this portion goes like that and then you tuck in his head and you push it back in. You extend his arms and once you extended his arms you have to face him down and these here they lift up. Bring the feet down. Oh my goodness, check out this ship that he's turned into. This awesome supersonic plane. And this is giant. This is super amazing. It has lots of missiles and guns attached. And Scattershot is really, really armed. He has a long nose for a cockpit. And it extends to be the gun. This is a long range missile plane and it's definitely heavy duty. Now let me show you how to transform him back into robot mode. That shouldn't be too hard. Tuck in this top gun here. This rotates back. Bring up these sides and then we start to work backwards. need to use a tool to actually get them out. Here's Scattershot back into robot mode. Let's not forget his awesome gun. The Big Bazooka. This is a really cool and awesome robot, guys. I really love this one. It sure stands out from the pack. Check it out. Scattershot is really cool. 
from, you can lift these wings. You've got extra guns here. Fire away! And then of course you've got these two guns in the front that attach. Well, just one of them attaches, this one at the bottom here. See the two holes in there? You have to match them up. And then it just fits right in here. And it's perfect. He looks really armored up and fierce. So he's got punching action right on the sides here. Or just snap it into place and make him flat. And then this is what he looks like. This is really cool. Whoa, check it out guys. I've got three robots in disguise transformers. First up is Windblade. And she actually transforms into a jet. And then I've got Ultra Magnus. And this is a super fun one guys. It actually transforms into a truck. There's a five step conversion process for this robot to a truck mode. And then last but not least, I've got Minicon Slipstream. He does armor up. There's extra armor included. Slipstream can actually fit with the other Autobot Drift that we have. And it can actually deploy it as a missile. I'll show you that soon. This is the Autobot Drift that we've opened previously. Be sure to click the informational card or the eye above to see this fun video. This one has Jetstorm attached to him as a deploying missile. And what you do is you shoot it out or fire it. You can even use Slipstream to load it up into Autobot Drift and then shoot it as a missile. But now let's go ahead and open up these fun robots, the new ones that we have today. Let's check out Windblade. And she's definitely not a Decepticon. You can see the logo. She's a robot in disguise. And it does take three steps for this one to convert. This is the mini version of Windblade, but it's a really fun one. This one actually fits in your pocket, it's so small. It's actually a bit bigger than the Minicon, but it's still pretty small. We have instructions included to convert her, so let's go ahead and try to figure it out. So the first thing you do is you push her feet together, make sure her arms are down, then you bring this back up, and you push it down, that's the cockpit area, and everything snaps into place here. So it sits tightly, and she's in jet mode, or airplane mode. She's ready to take off. Now to convert her back is super simple. You have to pull everything apart and up. And then push the cockpit down, and pull apart her legs. And then she's in robot mode. Let's go ahead and try to convert her back one more time. Push her legs in, make sure that you pull the wings down, and fit them into place here, and then pull the cockpit up. This is it, she's ready to take off. I really love this robot, and it's so small that you can take it anywhere. Like I said, it fits in your pocket. Let's go ahead and open Ultra Magnus, and this is a really, really fun one. This is also one of the smaller versions of the robots, and he does convert into a truck. Out of the package, you get your robot and instructions, of course. This robot is a bit harder to transform. It actually takes five steps to convert him. Got my directions here. Here he is in robot mode. Let's compare Wingblade with Ultra Magnus, and they're just about the same size. If you put her feet together, they stand just about the same size. This one fits in your pocket as well. It's super fun. It's a robot on the go. He's pocket sized. So push the feet together. The middle pushes up and back. And then you have to twist these arms somehow. Uh-oh. If you do happen to pull it off or to pull it apart, you can actually snap it back into place. Then you lift up his head. It actually lifts all the way around. Oh, now I see the truck, the front of the truck here. Yes, look over here. There's something that you can snap into place. So we know we're on the right track here. And then what? You have to bring this portion down. It's really beginning to take shape. And then I think it's self-explanatory from here. Look, you pull this down. 
Oh, you know what? That the head actually snaps right back underneath the truck. And check it out. It's in truck mode. Really love this one. This is so neat. This little guy actually transforms into this truck. Wow. He's actually working. He's got wheels. Look, compared to my thumb, it's actually the size of my thumb. So it's pretty small. I know it doesn't look like that on camera, but it's super small. It's definitely a mini transformer. And look at these two. Awesome. Now let's convert Ultra Magnus back into robot mode. And that shouldn't be too hard. You always pull everything apart and then it snaps into place. Bring it over. Rotate the arms. So this should be the front of it. He's in robot mode. Awesome, check him out. Ultra Magnus once again. This should be easier the second time around. So pull the head back, push the feet together, twist his arms around, and then look on the other side. It's beginning to take shape as a truck. Bring the arms back, twist them around, and snap them into place. This is like a puzzle. Once your pieces fit, then you know what the next step is. Bring the truck down and snap it in. Here he is. A little background info on Ultra Magnus is that he's actually after the Matrix. You know that the Matrix is the ultimate power that Optimus Prime gives to some of the robots. Ultra Magnus is a bit upset in this show because he doesn't get the Matrix. It's actually his brother who gets it. And so he's kind of incognito or um, he's kind of hiding and not showing up for a while until he comes back and he feels that he wants to prove himself that he can be worthy of the Matrix. So that's his story. Here's a little background on Windblade. She's a female Autobot, so she's a girl. She was given a mission a thousand years ago after she was woken up from stasis. And this mission was from Optimus Prime himself. Her mission is to hunt the fugitive Decepticons. And here's the next Minicon slipstream we're going to open today. And of course he's robots in disguise. He also transforms in a one-step process. And he also has armor. He has additional armor that you can armor him up with. And he can fit on Autobot Drift and become a missile. He has double the power once you armor him up and actually pair him up with Autobot Drift. So let's go ahead and open him up. And I'll show you how he fits on Autobot Drift. This is all his armor that's attached to this. And you have to pop it out. He's also a Minicon. He's a miniature version of the Robots in Disguise robot. Slipstorm actually partners up with Jetstorm, and they both work with Autobot Drift. Their master is actually Autobot Drift. Slipstream is the calmer one, preferring to follow Drift's lead on the battlefield. However, he does love to celebrate with Jetstorm. The two, however, have great synergy when they fight, and they both fit onto Autobot Drift. So you convert him into a disc-like robot, and he goes into his shell over here, then you place him inside, and fire! Awesome! Now let's do the same with Jetstorm. And I've got him armored up here, and he should still work. I have a fun video on this collection, be sure to click the eye above to see it. Fire! Jutstorm and Slipstream actually look really similar. To convert Slipstream, all you have to do is pull apart his arms and he converts into a robot. So you push it up. He becomes a robot similar to Slipstream and he's also armored up. So let's look at his face. You can see the difference in the faces based on what their character is like, of course. Slipstream looks calm and he looks kind of angry. They're both really fun though, especially when you deploy him in Autobot Drift. Now let's go ahead and armor him up and see what he looks like with all his gear. He has tons of gear. Look at this, that's heavy duty. He's fully protected. Then he has these flame-like shields on his shoulders. 
Whoa, he looks awesome. He has this disc on his arm that he can deploy as a weapon. And two swords. Whoa, he looks super intimidating. Check him out. He's ready to fight those Decepticons. We can also fit Ultra Magnus with a sword. This is a fire sword. Awesome, look at him. All the robots actually have extra grooves where you can mix and match the armor and fit it onto their bodies. This sword is actually from Autobot Drift, but he fits with him. We can also armor up Windblade. This again is the sword from Autobot Drift, but it fits on her hand over here. What an awesome collection! Check out these fun new Transformers we're going to open. They're Combiner Wars from Generations. And this one is Rotomus. He combines to form Permit to Career. We're also going to take a look at Skywarp. And he's a Decepticon. He converts through an 8-step process and becomes a fighter jet. He's a teleporting flyer that can attack the Autobots from out of nowhere. Rotomus converts through a 7-step process. He's a brash warrior, has the makings of a skilled commander and honorable leader. We've opened other Autobots from Combiner Wars, and this one is Warpath. Be sure to click the eye above to see more fun videos. But now let's go ahead and open up these fun toys and play with them. First up, we're going to take a look at Rotomus, and he does have one of those collecting cards. Here's Rotomus, and he's an Autobot. He's a smaller robot. He looks a lot like Blackjack to me. He even has the same scepter as Blackjack, but a different color. I guess Blackjack has found its match in Rotomus. So they should pretty much convert the same way. That's my guess on this. And that's not a hard conversion process. Here they both are, and they're definitely very similar. And they have the same type of scepter, so when they go off and face each other, they're actually equals. This is pretty cool. Let me go ahead and show you how to transform Rotomus into a car. To convert him into a car should be pretty simple. You twist in his arms, bring over his top here. And then tuck everything in. Pretty awesome! I love the details on his car. There are some flames. He's a fast guy. Blackjack converts into a similar fashion. Let me show you how to convert Blackjack as well. He should convert the same exact way. Rotomus and Blackjack. Let's go ahead and open up Skywarp and take a look at him. There's also a collectible card included. Here's Skywarp in robot form. He's got a lot of missiles and gear on him. You can see the jet wings here. 
Let's go ahead and convert them into jet form. Hey, what's that? <laughs> Who's coming over here? What do you have there, Patrick? My Lego helicopter. It wants to... Hey! What kind of a helicopter is this? A two-top rotor helicopter. Yeah, this is my favorite one. This is a very fun helicopter. It fits a pilot. It actually opens. Let's go ahead and finish transforming Skywarp. Here's Skywarp into jet mode. Hey, watch it, you. You bent my front. Check out these fun new transformers. This time we're opening Transformers Generations. The first toy we're going to be opening is Smokescreen. Smokescreen is actually part of the Deluxe class. These robots are actually part of Combiner Wars, and they combine to form a giant robot. And Smokescreen combines to form Sky Rain. Here's some background info on Smokescreen. He's the resident fixer for the Autobots. When a fight goes wrong, he cleans up the mess. Using an array of disruptive and disorienting weapons, Smokescreen confuses his enemies and obscures his allies as they regroup for a punishing counterattack. So he actually has a stealth mode. And he transforms into a car. Look at this in a 10 step process. And then you combine him to form Sky Rain. So these robots actually combine together to form a giant robot. And as we open more of these, we'll show you the giant robot they all form. He's actually the leg of the big robot, Sky Rain. But he does convert into a robot form of his own. These are super cool. I love the way that they all combine together. So you can collect them all and make a giant robot. Here's another fun robot we're going to open, and he's also part of Transformers Generations. One of them attacks from the air while the other one on the ground. Vortex is actually a Decepticon, and he actually transforms into a helicopter mode. And he is actually the arm of the robot that he combines to form. So he's the arm of Broticus. And here's some background info on him. Decepticon Vortex is the interrogator. The Decepticons call when they need someone to cough up information. He'll take his targets for a wild ride, twisting, turning, looping, and diving through the sky. It's enough to make anybody cough up the secrets and then some. So today we're going to have Smokescreen versus Vortex. Who's going to win? Let's go ahead and open up our first one. You also get a comic book with these. This is awesome. And instructions on how to convert your robot. This is the 10 step process robot. Look at this, he's armored up. He's got a gun included. Oh look, he looks pretty nimble. Here's part of it done. Now we need to twist it over. Check it out. After you put them together, the wheels actually come out. And then everything flips over. Oh my goodness, this is fun. 
one thing that I did that was not allowing me to flip the wheels over was the fact that I did not actually tuck in the arms. So once I tucked them in, everything seemed to be snapping into place better. So here's smoke screen. He's a really awesome race car. There's an extra claw here as well. It's a booster tool where you can actually fit the gun on top here as well. Look at this awesome. Now it's time to open Vortex, the Decepticon. And he does combine to form another robot, Bruticus. And he's actually the arm of Bruticus. And it does take 13 steps to convert him into a helicopter mode. So let's go ahead and open him. So this robot is part of Transformers Generations. We've got some tools we have to unbox. There's some kind of a claw, and here's his weapon. So this is a pretty complex robot. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up his blades to convert him. And this also lifts up, so the blades open and they lift up. You are supposed to rotate his middle after you push his feet together, but you have to hold tightly from here, and his whole middle actually rotates. And then you open up the back on both sides, and these tuck in. It's really beginning to take shape. This is supposed to snap into place here, and it does. Bring down the rotors, and you have to twist his head up. So what you do next is you pull up and back. And then you snap the back into place here. Make sure the sides are actually snapped into place. This is an awesome helicopter, and this is Vortex. He's in helicopter mode. He has lots of missiles on the sides over here. And of course he's got this tool. Let's see if we can fit it on the helicopter mode. It fits on the bottom over here. So he has guns. He's ready to shoot. And to land him you do have to remove his guns. He does not have any wheels on the bottom which is kind of surprising. Here are the two opponents. And of course they both have guns. One of them attacks from the air while the other one on the ground. Let's go ahead and convert them into robot mode now. There's one more step we need to do, and that's actually pull his arms out. That's a bit difficult to do. He's very flexible. All his joints actually move, including his arms, and they twist up so he can have a lot of fluid movement. Let's go ahead and convert Decepticon Vortex into a robot as well. Here they both are in robot mode and they are the same size. They both have weapons that actually fit on their arms. So look at this.
Reiner Wars actually includes comic books. So with all Transformers that you buy, you get a comic book included. That's pretty neat. Well, that's it for us, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. And also, click the like button. Leave a comment down below as well. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video.